What is blood flow restriction training? For someone wanting to build muscle mass and strength, previous thinking was lifting heavy weights two to three times per week for over 12 weeks was the only way. Heavy lifting was thought to cause exercise-induced muscle damage, which the body then repaired and adapted to by building more muscle. Unfortunately, many people cannot lift heavy weights due to injury, surgery, age, or the need to be ready for competition. Fortunately, an alternative to heavy weight lifting for strength and muscle growth has been identified by the scientific, rehabilitative, strength and conditioning, and human performance communities. This alternative is called blood flow restriction training, or BFRT. BFRT is performed by restricting, not occluding, blood flow to the working muscles by itself or in combination with exercise. BFRT has been shown to create beneficial adaptations to skeletal muscle and bone in a variety of populations. During normal exercise, you have oxygenated blood, arterial inflow into the muscle, and deoxygenated blood flow, venous, out of the muscle. To perform BFRT, we apply a cuff to the top of the arms or legs, but not both at the same time. We then inflate the cuffs using a special pump that can measure blood flow, like a blood pressure cuff, until there is no longer any blood flow going into the limb. This full restriction of blood flow is called occlusion. The lowest pressure necessary to cause occlusion is termed arterial occlusion pressure, or AOP. These pressures are different for everyone based on age, limb size, body position, and fitness levels. We find AOP to determine the safe and effective procedures for the individual to train at. To exercise, we reduce the pressure to a percentage of the AOP. The research points to safe and effective pressures being 40 to 50% in the upper extremity and 60 to 80% in the lower extremity. At these lower pressures, we have some blood flow going into the limb and no blood flow leaving the limb. The reduction of blood flow into the limb also means there is a reduction in oxygen into the muscle, which makes muscle contraction more difficult, even at lower weights. In addition, because no blood flow is leaving the limb, venous pooling occurs and a cellular swelling effect happens. Muscle cell swelling has been linked to muscle protein synthesis or the increase in muscle cell production. As the limb continues to exercise, you produce and accumulate metabolites like hydrogen ion and lactate, creating a more acidic environment or the burn we feel during high intensity exercise. There is an association between increased lactate production and increased type 2 muscle fiber recruitment. Type 2 fibers are the types of muscle fibers more likely to increase size and strength compared to type 1 fibers. Using light weights and not taking the exercise to failure allows for little to no muscle damage to occur. The brain and body think they are doing high intensity exercise, but in reality, this exercise is a low and safe intensity for the tissue. Using low resistance allows individuals who cannot lift heavy weights to use light weights and still get the benefits of heavy weight lifting, perfect for older individuals and those recovering from injuries or surgery. After the exercise is over, we deflate the cuffs prior to reinflating for the next exercise, if applicable. For safety, we are only keeping the cuffs inflated about 6 minutes for resistance training and 20 minutes for aerobic capacity training. Using BFRT allows the use of lower weights to produce strength and muscle in about one-third of the time of normal resistance training. BFRT is being safely and successfully used in many settings like professional sports, fitness, rehabilitation, and home exercise programs. For more information about blood flow restriction training, please visit us at bfruniversity.com.